welcome to this report on a beautiful sunny day. Happy days, this is my Miracofila Tonsoniana, has just finished soaking for 30 minutes in 100 parts per million of CalMag at a pH of 6.5. So the only reason I'm repotting this orchid is because she has grown up against the edge of the pot and the new growth would be squeezed out, which is a shame because this orchid really has already been disturbed enough in her years with me. Let's get her out. And I have to pick up that little lecker bead because puppies. Okay, right. And also because she hasn't grown the same kind of bulbs that I've had in the past here. This is the biggest bulb I ever grew on her and I would like to get that size back. I have my hammer if I need it. I'm just gonna see if I can't just wedge her out. She's a pretty sturdy orchid. The growths aren't exactly delicate. <laughs> she is an active root growth and that is why we are going in and I wish I could have done this sooner, clearly, because some roots have already, some new roots have already hit the media, and I prefer to repot at nubbin stage, but she's coming out, no hammer required, which is even better because it's gentler on the roots. Okay, microfiber came along. Let's pull all that off. There we go. Right, let's see what we've got here. We have some death, that's to be expected, but we have a lot of life and that's what we're working with today. The life. Let me get this over here. I hope I'm in shot. See that things are, just a second, things are progressing nicely. Ah, these are already a bit too long for my liking, but we're gonna be gentle with her. As gentle as we can be. Gentle and repotting orchids, uh, it's a bit of an oxymoron really because when it comes to a radical cleanup, then there's really nothing gentle about it. Now, despite the fact that we have brown looking roots, some of them are in actual fact alive. They are firm. But this orchid is now going to go into a pot that is so, so XLOTT over the top. She is not going to go just in one pot size up. We are really upping the size of the pot to what could border as maybe a little bit ridiculous, but I don't want to be doing this again in two years time. I would like to give this orchid at least time to bloom for me because despite the fact that I've had her for many years, she hasn't bloomed for me. She's been divided. Then she's been repotted again, so it's time to give her a bit of a break and let's see what she does best when she's just left alone. Right, I'm just testing roots now, making sure that I always keep an eye <coughs> on the new roots. And that is a little bit difficult because I have no real angle to lay her down, maybe. Got roots coming here, new roots coming over here. That's two directions of growth. We can lay her down maybe like this. Careful with the leaves. Nope, maybe not, but I need to. <laughs> I need to get in there because these are dead. I guess we're going to have to do this one-handed. Something like that. Just tease out the back. You know, at the end of the day, the welfare of the orchid is paramount. My new roots being as long as they are, are more important. We're going to do a test cut just to see if I'm seeing this correctly. Just test cut a root that is, well, this one's obviously dead. That looks to be dead, but I feel it's alive. So just a test cut and see. Yeah, it's half and half. I think we've got only one more season of the roots that look dead but are alive so anyway to finish my thought I want to make sure that I maintain the health and safety let's say of this orchid if I can't be radical with trimming off old roots I'm not going to be too concerned because this time around she is going into this 
XXL size pot that I have ready for her. Gosh, I hope my arm wasn't in the way there. This is a little bit awkward. The to be seen is was much easier. You could just plop her upside down. The roots were sticking in the air. It was a great cleanup. <laughs> oh well, let me see. I'm just checking to see if I can get the ones that I've cut out. But yeah, seeing as I'm growing in inorganic media, I'm not too fussed about all the organic that I will be leaving behind. Which is my saving grace. That is my saving grace. Now this one, even though it's alive, just trim it back. It is a branching root system. So it's not as if we're going to lose everything here. I just don't want her to be fussy about the new roots. That's all. get you off and you know what even though it doesn't look like I've done much the change will be completely radical should I take off this old bulb back here it's a great storage organ how loose are you not loose at all so we're not gonna remove anything nope we'll leave her as she is Lay her down, <laughs> clean up a little bit. Check where the root tips are. I know I keep saying that, but it's more like a mental reminder, note to self kind of thing. So we've got that there. This one's coming there. Lay her down. And I was so focused on what I was doing. I hope all of that wasn't shot. <laughs> For everybody that is watching this video, thank you so much. I appreciate you being here. A sunny day in Spain. I know it sounds like I'm surprised by it because I am. But now I'm even more surprised and blessed because I've got a sunny day in Spain with no wind. And it seems like there's hardly any activity beyond the hedge, which is, you know, trifecta great. All right. This one is a bit kinked up there so we'll take that off and we'll bring in the OTT pot for this orchid and let's just take OTT as a notice stop it Nina <laughs> I'll be right back I was not exaggerating <laughs> I'm going from an 18 centimeter pot to a 27 centimeter pot hey you see my other pots be it a 20 centimeter I would be doing this again next year you see how the perimeter of this pot now has plenty of space for at least two years, if not three. In my case, she doesn't have that big of a root system. It's still rather shallow. And that is because of all the disturbance in the past. Now we're going to push these roots, even though she will never really fill the pot. I would have preferred a shallower pot as well. But this is what I have available and I think it's going to be just fine. Time will tell. So I have my support in here. I have my microfiber in here. I'm going to start pouring LECA in. I am not using the gentle repot method in this go around, filling up the pot with water and letting LECA just fall between the roots gently. I don't need it in this case. I don't have that many roots. So we're gonna do it the conventional way. No water this time around. At this stage, I'm just fishing for my microfiber, making sure that because of the length of the pot, that I have enough strands to help with the wicking to the top. No loops because of the size of the pot. Right, let's see where we're at. Get all the strands up to a visual as best as possible. Where's the last one? In this repotting, I only used large lecker, seeing as big chunky roots, there's a lot of air around them with the larger lecker. And the reason I have a support is obviously I'm hoping for some spikes. I may need to hold them up based on when they grow, where they grow and where this orchid is positioned. 
but the support is there for the spikes that I'm hopefully going to get next year. And I like her in the middle, maybe a little bit more towards the back just in case there's no growing point in the back, but if need be, plenty of space just in case. So preferred long-term repotting position right here. It's at this stage now that I'm going to be pouring in water to fill the pot. This is where it's going to help me to get the leca to settle around the roots at the base. I am not fighting any leca beads that are potentially little floaters and she will be able to get jiggled in gently because that's the next step. We're going to just hold the orchid and jiggle. And as the water settles, keep adding. The idea being that now the leca in the pot is going to have a much easier time to fill in the blanks. Whoops, we got a root tip. Don't want that. No leca beads around root tips that we can see. What goes on in the pot, we can't control at this point, but what we can see, we need to protect. And then turn it around, you know, like in a Chinese restaurant, <laughs> you get all the dishes in the middle of the table, spin it around, have a look-see. Let's see. Quite buried. I know that this looks concerning, but it's not. The rhizome here is pretty loose. It's easy for me to dislodge the leca if there is an, ever an issue, or the bulb itself starts to desiccate and I want to do some grooming. I can easily go in there with some secateurs, so there's no problem. And here in my climate with no humidity to speak of, I do not get any like surface leca that is completely soaked. It's mainly the opposite. It's far too dry. So I'm not concerned about that bulb. And the orchid doesn't need to be tied in by the support. She has had her calcium and magnesium. So right now what she's getting is just plain RO water. Because I didn't do much cutting on the roots anyway, I could have put in some fertilizer by now, but that would be a waste of water because I need to drain her. And um, yeah, whatever is left is gonna be tossed into a plant pot. <laughs> what a waste. It's a calculated waste though, because my roots are very, very important to me. So I've emptied her completely, and now I can fill up with fertilizer. 300 parts per million, right into the reservoir. 300, not because she's growing a new growth, but she's growing new roots. You saw the root system wasn't that established. It didn't look that great. And we're gonna be changing that this season. And also we want this size bulb back. This was my first season with her and she was amazing. We need the next growth to look like this. Disclaimer in advance, if I huff and puff, <laughs> she's heavy now. <laughs> but you can see the reservoir is nicely filled and the microfiber touching that water. Perfect, very, very happy. Well, not quite perfect. Ta-da! This is clear and present danger. <laughs> I would like to keep my eyes, even though they do give me trouble sometimes. At least try to protect them as best as possible. There we go. Oh, and one more final thing. Don't forget the label. Although it's not like I wouldn't know what this one is, but still completes the picture. Well, I wonder if this was interesting. I hope so. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. By the way, I'm going to link yesterday's video because it's a very short video that gives you some pointers as to how to recognize whether it's time to repot your orchid if you're not growing in clear pots and you can't assess or see the root system. So I will link that in the description because I didn't cover that in this one specifically. Thank you so much for your time. It was wonderful spending it with you on a beautiful sunny day in southern Spain. If I still could, I would do cartwheels around the patio. Have yourselves a beautiful day though on one condition, please, that you stay safe. Take care, bye.